Hey everybody, Steve X here bringing you to the next How to Survive video for The Last of Us Remastered. We are playing this on difficulty of hard on the PS4. And this time we are in the lake resort level, which is in the winter stage. And uh, we have met David and we are fighting alongside him at the moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this little clicker level that's uh, right before you get to the big fight. Uh, this is probably about halfway through this whole part with uh, with David. You've defeated a bunch of people in the first room with him. Uh, and, and now you're in this one room and you're just surrounded by a bunch of clickers. So it's all about just being stealthy and get behind them. You do not want to get into a fight with these guys. And don't forget these supplies over here. You're going to need those for explosives later. But so first thing you do, just walk to the right, or, or actually wait for the first clicker to walk past you. Take him out slowly. Sneak around this corner. You'll get this guy, and then keep using that uh, your sound to figure out where they are. It's really not a whole lot of uh, direction in this. It's just it's just all about watching their patterns, figuring out where they're going. And sneaking up behind them and make sure you do even crouching do not walk too fast they will hear it and attack and uh, the bricks in my experience the bricks and bottles did not work too well for these guys now when they're doing that little um, hard clicking part sometimes their hearing is even more sensitive so when they're doing that do not move so just creep up and just Keep watching for that little knife thing to appear. The second that knife thing appears, you want to hit them instantly. Now, at this point, I've taken out three of them. I think there's just one more left. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down below. Because he's actually down in this lower level here. I'm going to walk around to him. I'm just checking out for supplies. And you'll see there are a couple of bottles and everything down here. But... Uh, Maybe they work for some people, but I was not successful using bricks and bottles to uh, to stun uh, clickers. Uh, so maybe, maybe you guys can let me know if anyone's had luck doing that. Uh, it, it, it didn't, I only tried it a couple of times, and then it just seemed to me like it didn't work, so I hadn't. I never tried it anymore. Now we're just going to wait for this clicker to go by. Now I'm going to stop right here. Wait for him to turn around. Start sneaking up behind him. I really should have my flashlight on. I keep forgetting that it doesn't doesn't bother them. And, and again, they probably would have saw me. But again, I'm just watching for that knife um, symbol to come up. And the second I see it, I start tapping on it. And with that one gone, you're pretty much done with the clickers here. And then you're going to come out meet up with David. You're going to have another small level where you have to go through some more clickers. And... Uh, some other guys on a catwalk and then now you get in here um, you walk across this bridge and you're going to go to this room where all hell is going to break loose um, the key thing here is know where the bricks and bottles are in the room because it's there's a really good technique and I'll use it in the beginning here but then uh, as things start getting excited I never I, I just kind of forget about it when things start getting more excitable but um what you, what you want to do is have a brick or something with you at all times. When a, when a stalker comes at you, you just toss it at him, smack him, and it gives you a free knife as long as you can get it to him pretty quick. Now I can see that there's some things you can you can talk to the people here, um, or at least you can uh, get some information on them. Uh, but what, what you definitely want to do is pick up all the supplies in here. Craft any explosives, Molotovs, or first aid kits that you can um, I highly recommend the Molotovs like if you have some life you can actually get through this only getting hit maybe once or twice um, if you can do it without getting hit at all you're doing pretty damn good um, so here we go I got everyone I got all the items here I'm gonna sit here and make sure I can craft an, another Molotov make sure I have that and I think I can craft a bomb too so I'll go ahead and make one of those also so again, they're about to get started. So all my stuff is done. I'm reloading all my guns. And uh, when the especially when the clickers start, you probably want to have the hunting rifle. So here we go. 
Now, one tip here, let David stay in front. He'll usually engage at least the first person. Um, just keep getting back behind him. Now, now, this didn't usually happen when I did this, but he actually engaged both of these guys and took them both out. Now, notice I have the brick in my hand. I'm just waiting. If one of them charges me, I brick them and then I knife them. So I save that precious ammo. But now I got the clickers. Don't mess around. I, I tried using the bow and arrow a while and it was always hit and miss. But um, one shot to the body with the hunting rifle will take them down. So, And of course, I wasn't a very good shot. That's why I took a few shots there to get these guys out. And just because I have it out, I'm still using it. Listen, wait for these guys to come out. Again, I'm just using that hunting rifle. Now, I I really could have the um, a brick out or something, but... See, now this person's going to get hit on me. This guy actually got one hit. Kind of surprised me. I thought he was engaged with David. And then whenever you take these people out, pick up the ammo, reload your gun quickly. And I still got one more guy here on this side. And if you can, make those choke points. Use those choke points, those stairs. Let them come to you where you want to shoot them. Now this is the first wave. Once you've passed the first wave, then then the next wave starts. They talk a little bit. You get just a little, a few seconds of a break here to pick up your stuff. Now the first guy comes out here behind you out this window. Be ready for him. Go ahead and use like the bow and arrow or something. You know, save some of your other ammunition. And then a guy comes out the door here. Now notice, I I I did this a few times, so I pretty much know where they are. And, and sometimes it just takes that practice. Now notice D David's got him, so I'm just focusing on the clickers that are showing up. Make sure you use the hunting rifle. Don't mess around with the other things that aren't going to kill him in one shot. And notice I didn't use any explosives. We now hear something. That's the bloater. When a bloater lands on top, he jumps down. I'm going to throw a, an explosive down, nail bomb, let him land on it, and then I light him on fire and get one more shot with the with the hunting rifle. That's pretty much all it takes. And then there's just one more enemy left. I just knifed him in the back. Now that's the hardest part is, is once that bloater gets down there you want to take him out quickly because other enemies are still appearing so nail bomb on the ground let him land on that Molotov him set him on fire let that take the energy down and then hunting rifle so that should take care of it you are all done ready to move on so that is it one last tip so uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments were there any other techniques that work for you let me know so thanks again for watching. This is Steve X and good gaming. Let's head on back. Check on that buckabar.